early this morning, you know. You know after six, you know. Mm. You know, come back a first spot here. Yeah. The water not look too bad this morning, but me know so the visibility now go up there. But we still have go out there to try to see what we can find, you know. Yeah, man, and this man is a cheer Me, Kenado, and Karan are there this man, you know. So we come back a first spot, as I say, and we are going to make a one dive because a long time in a dive over the holiday, you know. You know, busy, busy, so. Get a look one chance, yeah, man. That's how we jump out early. Yeah, man, and I do a look renovation pam me spear gun to you know switch up a barrel me get a longer barrel and me jaw back for me big spear you know so I have a taller gun you know yeah man so I want to see what going on now man yeah man so I get the barrel yeah long long barrel this we up a head side it come yeah. You up on the head side there I can't run the gun and nothing to eat you know A man has a big old thick spear you know Put flap up on it and things so Suppose you have no problem you know, you know? Man, So you have good on your step there you know And head out of sea man, So you don't go on the seaside you know and to me Water That's a 50 Water 50 50 don't you any clean in that one? Long <laughs> time you don't see it. Tied eye too. You don't see it. Tied eye now. But we are going there still to see what we are. So very early out, Ken had a spear a lovely mackerel and the water was very dirty. It was just pure sun. I got a chance with this one. I took the shot, I hit it in the tail area, but the shot didn't hold. Mackerel, pop off, it don't look good. A mackerel, boy, pop off, it don't look good. Regardless of the water quality, we still try to see what we could have found. This is a chub spot, I was sneaking down here, but nothing much was here though, not even the chubs. I do a small attraction and these two barracuda came over. I dive on them, they start to swim away. I took a long shot but miss. That was an next small barracuda. And whenever the water is dirty, you hardly see barracudas. They tend to stay in the deeper waters. And if you do see any, they give no chance. Hmm. 
and at this time we were heading back to the exit point I made this last dive where I saw this school of bait fish but nothing else was here only the bait fish Today was still a great dive though. Canada still got a lovely mackerel, a huge one. I did this one again. Yeah, I hit me go after. I am here then. Shit, I'm so much. Why not a big one? When you see me turn down on him, he, 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 do, he do me like a bar there, I do me top. That's a glide. Me say you go on. When you act, you go on. You don't glide. No, sir. Yeah. The only thing I do is I me turn down in, in taking time a glide again. Me say you go on, man. Okay, do it. I'm thinking you're a smart man, but you just taking time a good one. You need to, you need to turn your body or not. Yeah, yeah, so straight when turn, I'm going to like, come around this way. So you, want, you, you see me and turn straight when so. turn. You're bossing. Yeah. yeah. Well, make sure, make sure one big one like that and see him well. I run in, I run up. I'm going to go over the edge you now. You see one of school of a uh, 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 jet fish, I run. I want to go to the middle of school of blood, you must knock it back at them now. You can get thin on your camera. You just get down to your friend. And you just get the roller gun, you just get the roller gun. You lick him and you turn your forward. Yes, the people, so we. I'm going to stay back for land, you know. I'm going to go to the water. Water, you know that rough, but jobs are bad. Jobs, coffee tea out there. Every time you come to the you get squat. You get squat. Two opportunities. You get one mackerel, spear a mackerel. Spear is not looking good. Spear is looking mackerel in the tail part and him tear off of the spear. You get two barra. Up there. But they did a swimmer so they still take a shot, you know, you know, this same way. But so can I find one of the nice mackerel? So nice mackerel. This is a car and you can see so. him bad enough. I'm the same. Come on, that's how we car and the fight. I'm the same. 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 You know, oh, Mr. But um, unfortunately, it's gonna fire good, I like. But I don't get to test it the right way because the water is too dirty. Out. So hopefully, one next day. Hopefully, we don't have a weekend and we can get to test it. Here, we're gonna see ya. 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 Here, we're Right on the land side, he's going to take it. Nice, my I want to look like him about much. About six balls? Yeah, six balls. Nice, my friend, listen up. Why you mean shoot at that size and that before name and weigh six and a half? Nice one, that one. Half five, man. As I say, a couple of years from this, you don't have to get no karma, but just cleaner. That's all, man. Cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, or you can't go in there, because I know you borrow them out there now. But the water dirty, they must stay out in the deeper water. Come on, so a big old mackerel that you see. You know, really big in me. Nice one. Sorry, I didn't get to know one too. Nice. What? Yeah. Big old mackerel. Every time you come, I come shoot something and I give thanks. Yeah, man. You know, you want to come in. You know? And I'm my lucky you man. Be a bank, you might talk about. And I'm my lucky man, I shoot good fish. A few days after, we head back to sea. Kenado head for the Barracuda Bank. I decide that I'm going to do a solo dive at the Japaf area. Day two, you know, and as me say, it's a solo dive today, me alone. Rest of the guys. Can I order them go on a bank? You know? Me decide, say. Not really, me decide still. Me did feel good on the bank, too, but whoever do, me, 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 me car battery terminal did that give a little problem. So I have to wait till 
the light out and till after nine till we play so we go get one batch it you know. So can I do then go ahead and bring a bank. I don't know what they go on with still. But I definitely will see because I'm going to post video. Yeah man. But me come on my favorite spot here. And right now I can tell you about after nine I go to ten. Best time to come at them places. I know really this place is not really a hurly place. Mid day and hope you see fish at them place. Yeah, yeah man. So me there. So as I say. So I'm going to see what I go on, alright? And the place beautiful. Look at the sea. Yeah man. Clean and pretty this man, you know. Visi visibility look up. A guy just passed me. You know, in a red down there, so it so look like a line in my chew. Yeah man, place nice man. So one of the tug ship, one of the tug boat a jaw and like one next thing full of mall I guess that I come from Ocherius. Yeah man, and next. Boat out there so like I'm do fishing, but that's a way out of deep. You know? Yeah. Place beautiful. Now go down at the seaside and I'll show you guys the visibility in more details. So this is it. Visibility. Fear in the January. You get this in a January. So God bless. It's a blessing, you know? So no waste of time. I'll jump off, you know, you know? Today was a great day, a beautiful day, the water was clean and as I reached to the spot I saw these two mackerel and I got a shot on one. The first shot, one fish. This area is a Japan area. I see shark here all the time, so pull the fish in quick as possible. It's a must. This was a nice size mutton snapper. This one smelled the rat. This barracuda was cruising. It saw me and make a turn for the deep. I took a him, squeezed the trigger. The spear went underneath the fish. The barracuda didn't even realize. If I had held my hand a little bit higher, I would have definitely get a hit. And at this part, the current was strong heading down the sea. So it made it a little difficult for me to dive. Some yellow tail snapper was hanging out here, but they saw me coming and head for the blue. This jap was for a horse I jack, it head in the rock.
So this was my second fish, a smaller mackerel. A lot of gold tail and red belly is at this location but this gun is not for them. This nice school of rainbow runner was passing. They saw me and turned and it straight towards me. I took the leader which is the biggest one. I was trying to get a next shot and one more but it didn't work out. But nevertheless, this one is nice. I had them to make a dive here on the way down I heard a boat engine. This fishing boat was passing. And whenever you dive in and hear boat engine, ensure that you locate the boat first before you surface. I saw a lionfish here, dive to check for it but it wasn't there. So this is my catch, three lovely fish. I was well satisfied heading back to land. So do a look fast dive, you know. Come out of the water because the water does get a little bit sandy. Although the current I go down with see strong, you know. I get a little sandy and I see one piece of chalk pass, you know, a piece of squall pass, so I just head in. But it's gone, you know. Place clear up. Lots of boat out the same way. I'm going to know they are fishing still. But it was a great dive today. Uh, finally, the gun finally proved itself today, you know. It was a great, great dive, you know. So I get um, three lovely fish here. So it's a the catch. I find a mackerel boy. I know the biggest one this may ever shot still. Me shot bigger than this. But this me clearly see said this are the second biggest mackerel. First fish, one shot. And I only took um four shot. I mean me miss one, the barra there. But the barra the little out of rain still. But the gun fly on and eat him belly like a rocket. You didn't even see it. If you pass him, you didn't even see it. But if he did go up like a higher, he would have licked him and I probably would have get him. Yeah, man, and after my spear, I look at mackerel, you know. I look at pound mackerel. And, you know, nice school of rainbow mackerel. So I get that one. I the lead of this, the biggest one, this my target, you know. Yeah, man, so, I go wear them fish still. Definitely, I go wear them because I want to know how much they weigh. That's a good size fish them here, no, man. Nice rainbow mackerel I pass in the school there, you know. One little barra did in the school too. The barra did there wide pan the deep. Over in the blue side, the barra did there. Shot this on a spec, say. Lens him down pan the card, because I don't use, me not use no card again, no, no fish line again for the shooting line, you know. This, I don't know if I die in him or this or what, but them say the right one this we use. Uh, this is one you know, can bust so easy and rock, can cut it because you have a simpleness to it. So you run by any sharp rock. So this is nice. If I have this, maybe the permit jack wouldn't get away. So I just get the right thing, you know. Long machine, yeah. Be a big fish. So the jaw with big gun, you know. 
Licky big fish them from far. A decent catch this still. Mm. Come on, and me I go clean them up. Come me have some friend here. We come to the holiday, you know, from overseas and Wow, fish we do something, you know. We look for couple, so definitely can't use one of these. No one, no more one of these. I'm actually, as you say, I'm actually to me like him go about six or five pounds. About five pounds. That's how he looks to me. The rainbow actually about the same. I probably will lick a bit less. A good catch. But me I go wear them still to just make sure. I'll get them clean up you know. Happy to do them man. A long time you know capture them like a big catch man. Mackerel time and a tree mackerel, you know. Rainbow mackerel and then call it the Spanish mackerel, but me call it Jamaican mackerel. One a Rasta mackerel. Yeah, the decoloration there. My people, so you know, clean up the two fish, you know. And when I go down to make, I want to weigh them individually, so I go string them up separate, you know. Yeah, man, you see the size of them. If you turn the camera a long way, nice, you know, nice. So, I go um, string them up, you know, and then you don't know where you go. See if we can get a piece of fish line or something on the rock side. Yeah. The line is supposed to be on the rock and we can use. Right thing. Right thing. Tell us how the place is getting dark up in my people and the sun come right out back. See the dollar get bouncy too. Probably all out there to get a clean back there at the toy look. Toy look yes to me. It's good still. Tomorrow is Sunday still and I know say them boy want to jump in. So probably I'm jump in tomorrow, you know? Again. I'm kind of finish off some of the work that I have because January month is kind of slow. January month is a slow month, so I have a lot of work. So I'm going to try to do a couple of dives, you know? But today's dive is a great dive, well successful dive, you know, one of the best nice catch today. Go get these string up, you know? So this I talk about individually, that string by itself, that string, so I can't wear them, you know? I'm going to wear them and see. This is not for wear still, but. We definitely want to wear them too if you see where they wear because they too wear half a document, you know. This is supposed to be, as I say, my second biggest mackerel ever because I shoot one 12 pound mackerel already. But this is not the way up at 12, this is about halfway. Mm. I head up here because I want to seriously climb. Look at the vehicle, change off and 
get them way, you know. All right, my people. So, pack up everything, you know, and one thing left to do, just wear these, you know. So, all right, tell you what. Um, I don't pack off the corn, but I put him on the scale still. Yeah, man. I put the corn on so much in weight, too. Just for, you know. Mind me, you know. <laughs> half bone, my people. That's the corn. Yeah, man. Half bone, so. Drop him in my bucket. Right, and clear back the scale again. Why did they easy if you take up that now? All right, the big mackerel, listen you know. yeah, up. Come on, put him on the scale, you know. Let me see what he must say. All right, that I say four pound. See, you all have four pound there. Eh? That's a big mackerel. Then we say, but about, about half pound I got her so come out time. I only pa got the name still. So I put him board but put him about five pound. Hmm. Same thing as we made that still, you know. Nice one. Definitely the 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 the, the um no I forgot something. I know the second biggest one this me catch my people. I did spear one big one on a little dungeon for a long time to you know, but you know big like a 12 pound one still, but in bigger than this. So this would be the the the, 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 the the third biggest one this would be. This a mackerel would be. So I forgot to spear one big one on a little dungeon for too. For a long time. So that are the third biggest one. Zero back is scale. See what I go on, you know. A rainbow mackerel, you know. Rainbow mackerel all light, and I feel him. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. See it all at 3.360. Look a bit on a 3.5 pound. Nice size, see me, you know. Mm, nice size fish. So, in all, 4 pound. So, this would be. But call it about four pounds him away with the with the gut and everything. Mm. So put him three and a half plus four. You know that's seven and a half. And the little half pound. Eight pound of fish me are going back with. Give all the tanks today. The bucket look pack up and us. Two fish make it look so. Yeah. Nice fish then. But definitely, I'm going to cook a piece of the, 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 the rainbow runner put on this video. And as I say, um, I have some friends from overseas come in and maybe we use the mackerel tomorrow evening do a local cook up with. So I probably go see a morning so I can put that the cook up on tomorrow, the end of tomorrow video. But on this video now because this is the second day we go out because you guys see we go out and can have the spear the big mackerel there you know nobody else no catch nothing no much car and the cats too little fish me never find nothing and you don't know me come back me alone yes yeah, so me get this a good catcher so I do a little cook up with the rainbow run up put on the end of this video see me. so you know all you guys are gonna see oh me oh the two fish them get cooked see me so yeah man, so stay tuned to the channel, see if we can do a look, look up on the rainbow, alright? Alright my people, so I'm home now, and see the fish them in a more details, yeah? So as I said, I just saw a bossy big mackerel in a two, yeah? That's what I can hold in my fridge, bag him up and put him in the fridge. And then this now, you know, cut him up, you know, because we'll shear up him, you know? Put this in the fridge also. Yeah man, so we we'll cook a piece of the rainbow right there, you know? Yeah man, nice catch today, you know? Decent, decent. So, you know, we get a few slices out of the rainbow right there. A couple nice slices. 
Fresh red door. Hello, hello. The friend fish on the mackerel, the mackerel white, eh? Yeah? Peace, man. The rain boy. As I saw, so I said, I will cut the mackerel in a two. Well, we don't know what we all do with him yet, so when we go, we can decide and then we do a cut up from this. But this is how we cook a yard, yeah. Yeah, man. So we start out piece here now for cooking. Four slices of the rainbow runner here, so well seasoned up nicely. So do all look simple look cook, cook. So you don't know. You know, long time you know, eat piece of the species of fish here. Simple look cook, cook, you know, nothing special today, you know. I'm going to fry these then. slice of the rainbow on here so some rice you know so this a dinner yeah man so give thanks you know once more again so I'll check out you know cause I want a little rest so see you in the next video alright